Tell me, tell us about the first time you strayed. Was there any voice in your head that said, uh, I shouldn't do this? So that's interesting. The, the first time I actually stepped out on our relationship was when we were dating. It was only a few months into our relationship and I had just signed with a new, a new team and I was staying in this hotel and there was somebody that I had had a relationship with prior that lived nearby and I ended up having communication with her. And even when I had texted her and said to come over, I told myself, just put the phone down, like you don't want this. Mm -hmm. like, you don't want to do this. You just met Jana, she's amazing, like stop. I could not stop. Mm -hmm. And that was one of those moments where I looked back when I, when I got into the addictive progr addiction program of that was true powerlessness. I yeah. couldn't not just say no. But you could, like someone could sit here right. and be like, but you, but you could, but right. I can understand where that's the addiction, addiction right. piece. Right, for sure. So, yeah. I mean, it started early on when we were dating and then, you know, we went through a six month period where everything was good and we got married and, and got pregnant and everything and then mm. things just started. The bachelor party. Bachelor party beforehand, yeah. yeah. Oh, that was a. But that, that you didn't. A, you didn't know the first thing. I you didn't knew, know. I didn't know that. I, I found that out after yeah. the fact. After the fact. Yeah. 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 Listen, I, I I understand addiction. I I, I you know, I understand addiction. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Trust me. Uh, and but I know that the temptation to use, in your case, sex, has more to do with uh, not being able to process feelings, mm -hmm. you know, and not knowing what to do and thinking that thing is going to repair you, right. you know. Are you also in a 12-step program? So I've done SLA, which is, because um, I, I, I truly do identify as like a love addict. Like I just love to love. And I've been in relationships too where I've cheated in relationships, not on this marriage. I haven't stepped out of this marriage, but I've always like been onto the next thing. And that's mm -hmm. why this is the first time I've actually stayed in something and fought through it. And, you know, I, I go to the, um, partners of yes. sex addicts. Yeah. Um, but yeah, and I mean, it's, it's, it's hard, but at the same time, I love this man and I see the man he's becoming and what we're able to do for other people with our podcast and our tour that we've been going on, like people, people want help. They want, they, they, they want to talk about it. They want to understand how did you trust again? Because if two people are actually really w willing to work on their marriage, it can work. Because marriage at the end of the day, no matter if there's infidelity or not, it's hard work. You have to work on it. Absolutely. It's like, and two people have to work on it. They do. It's like looking into a mirror and you have yeah. to face yourself. Well, and that's the thing too. Like, and to, to, to your point, I'm not perfect. Do, through all of this, I've realized all the stuff that I have to work on yeah. too. Yeah. It's not just him. Because in the beginning, trust me, I shamed him and was awful. Sure. But then I was like, let's look at myself now. What, what can I do better? How can I be a better person in this marriage? Right, because it's not an accident that you two are together and that there's right. something to be learned here. You know, I grew up in a house with all women and I was in my 20s when I had to learn that there was a difference between love and sex because, you know, men think of sex as like exercise. I got a new excellent workout partner, right. Right. you know? And I was never, and it took me years to get that. Yeah. Do, are you able to separate the intimacy of your relationship from the sex he had outside the marriage? I mean, it's, it's really hard, but we've done a lot of work. And the, the best thing that a therapist told both of us is just, and me personally, is to stay present. Like, what, how is he today? What is, where are we right now in this moment? You know, how far have we come? And like, what is he doing in this moment today to be a better person? And, for, you know, me too. So I think... I, my mind still goes there and still travels, especially yeah. when there's triggers and, oh, that's where, and then, so it's like those kind of moments right. still come up and it's hard. Like, I'm not gonna say it's all like rainbows and unicorns. Right, right. But I mean, I think we, and we've done things too. Like he's really working. We've saw like a tantra therapist. So we, we, we're working on the intimacy too. And it's hard for, for Jana because her mindset, she's very intimate. She, you know, again, she's has love addict tendencies and loves Touch love. Touch is my, like, number one on my... Well, that's why you... Yeah. This was your... Le this is my your, love language, just you touch. Had, this was your cross to bear. I mean, yeah. you were attracted to him to get over this. We all have, yeah. like, yeah. A, a lesson to learn in this life. And this was, this was yours. And, you, you know, what was yours being with her? I guess it was... Mine was always... Uh, acts of service and words of affirmation. So physical touch is towards the bottom for me when it comes to love languages because intimacy and love and sex just never really, it was, it's uncomfortable for me. Yes. And I still have my struggle where even just her holding hands or looking into my eyes, I still might have a feeling of like, uh, what's right. going on here? You right. know, and, right. it's, and it's, it sucks. Honestly, it sucks. Like I hate being that way. And so I'm trying to take the action to do things different, to become comfortable with that because I want to give her what she wants and I want to be that way. I want to look at my wife and tell her I love her and, and her feel that from me and not feel uncomfortable.